Let me tell you guys something. I always run away from this kind of conversation when it comes to healing, being all out, heartbreak, and all these things. <laughs> you know what? At the end of the day, some of us still need to come out here and talk about how to deal with pain. Do we think with time we get better? Or do you think with time things just remain the same? How do you deal with emotional pain and trauma? How have you been able to cope with childhood trauma? How does it work? This video today is going to provide insight into how to deal with pain, emotional trauma, and basically how to go about it. If this is your first time seeing my face here on YouTube, my name is Deborah, aka Baby Logs. I film on personal development and lifestyle. I'm a lady in her 20s trying to navigate life where I share things on my career, lifestyle, mental health, and many beautiful topics on here. Please stay tuned and keep watching. Please, I always say to stay subscribed on my channel and I always say that if you have any beautiful thing to say, any ideas, please drop them in the comment section. I always love to hear from you. Let's go straight to the topic. Time heals all wounds. Is this really true? Is this true or just something that people are just saying just so you know people just feel like, you know, let's just say these things, okay? This, this, you know, all these emo uh, motivational quotes, they are just it in the right place. You feel like, mm, it is good. <laughs> yeah, so the question I'm throwing out is, can time really help us to heal from emotional pain and trauma? Growing up, or as far back as I can remember, anytime things happen, bad things happen, or negative things happen, or some things happen, like it's just life. It's not like <laughs> you're the only one in the happening. So life can happen to anyone. There's always this um, phrase or thing everybody used to console you. Don't worry to get better. Don't worry. Time with time with time with time. And one week passes. Two weeks passes, a month, a year, four years, five years, and I have conversations with people, with friends, with people I meet, and I realize that people are actually still suffering from childhood trauma. There are things that are hurting them that years have passed. I've seen someone with 20 years and they still feel exactly the same way they felt on the first day, and I'm like, what is happening? I thought people say time it was all wounds but we can see that with all these kind of examples and scenarios of people sharing odds and pain of years months weeks and for the other person on the other side it's just like no no the same thing happened to me but in less than how many days it just went up so which also means that our personalities the kind of person like we're all different so we we'll definitely handle situations differently so you cannot expect even my siblings to deal with situations exactly the same way how we deal with a situation we can't just apply a, the same formula for everybody and expect that time would heal all our wounds time is not magic time is not a magic solution that will make all our problems just disappear into the thin hair the truth is we need to stay active and do something about healing from any pain or trauma we are going through i'm sorry to say but time can also make things worse if you don't do anything about that situation because many people tend to develop unhealthy coping mechanisms so for example if instead of you to face your problem you go and do something that makes you feel good for the time being and you still come back home to exactly that same circumstance that same issue so does it make things better which can then even cause more problems down the road i know the next question will be that oh now you've said time does not heal emotional pain time is not every time that time heals emotional pain and i'm sure you agree with me at this point so the next question is what then can heal emotional pain along with time seek professional help this is the number one on my list it's good to have family members and loved ones they are part of the support system also but please seek for professional help because these people were trained to do these things they were trained to mentor you they were trained to guide you they were trained to counsel you so it would be good to look for a professional in this field to help you to talk to you and to guide you on becoming a better version of who you are next is your family members your friends your loved ones like i can't hey family system family support system friend support system you would always need people around you no man is on high land you will need people around you will need your loved ones around you please turn to these people be free with them talk to them and other good things next up is practice self-care take yourself out do something beautiful do something that makes you happy you know ensure that whatever you're doing in your self-care is a positive direction 
towards your healing journey. And lastly, find healthy ways to cope with your emotion, not unhealthy ways, please. Healthy ways to cope with your emotions. This is different for different people. Know what works for you. That is why it's very important to seek for professional help because they know all these things. They know the concepts. I can research and come here and talk about it, but I'm not a professional in that field. In conclusion, I'll just say that you need to understand that it's a process, it's a journey. It's not something that will happen overnight. You can't expect to go for therapy today and tomorrow you feel much better it's a process it's a journey don't get pressured don't feel bad because somebody else went through the same thing you went through and in two weeks they are out of it and here you are five years later you still feel the same way we are different okay just ensure that whatever you're doing is helping you go past your trauma and go past your pain at this point i feel like we can all just round up and go home right <laughs> thank you guys for watching just so you know that it's okay to seek for help and take time to heal properly of course time is part of the healing process but time alone won't do it you need to do something about becoming a better version of who you are and i pray that anyone who is going through heartbreak pain emotional trauma childhood trauma i pray for healing in your heart in the name of jesus you are healed you're set free from every form of pain in the name of jesus and the peace of jesus will fill all our hearts in Jesus name. Thank you for watching my video to the very end and I'll see you in the next one. Please if you watch the very end and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do well to click that subscribe button, like this video and please I would love to hear all our thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.